Hey guys, it's Mikey Joseph and welcome to CTE Explained on City Schools TV. In this series, we dive deep into different CTE programs, talk with students and get a real feel for what it's like. This episode is all about the carpentry program at my school, Edmondson Westside. I know we stopped by Carver in another segment, but you must check out the projects we're about to show you. Let's go! Alright guys, I'm here with Ivan. This is one of the A students in the carpentry class. What have you guys been doing on your project so far? Um, well, today we actually started working on the legs for the, uh, the coop. And then, so we had to cut two 16-inch leg platforms, actually. And then we cut two 12-inch legs. And that's where we went over here. So we used this to cut two of the 12-inch leg. Okay. And then we used this one to uh, cut the, the two 16-inch posts. So Ivan, can you show me one of the posts that you guys cut? Oh yeah, well, my group actually cut these right here. And these were the 12 inches. What do you do next with the posts? Oh well, after we cut, then we gotta go in there and um, do a, a Craig hitting, a hitting screw system. So this is where we actually do the hitting hole screw system. So first you wanna make sure that this is actually lined up to the perfect inch of the wood. The wood is actually secure. And then you're gonna use this specific drill bit. And then you choose a hole that actually, where do you want the hole to be centered on the wood? And then you just drill it in. What's it like to be in the carpentry program? Well, it's actually fun because the carpentry program like helps you for when you get out of high school, you know, you can do different things mm -hmm. and like it helps you get more job opportunities. Thank you, Ivan, for the great chat. It was nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. Now let's go see what the next class is doing. Check this shed out. I can't believe they're building this in the wood shop. This is Robert. Hey Robert, can you tell me and show me what you guys have been doing in your project? So, so far we uh, just started laying our frames for the uh, shed that we are making in class. We're working on cross bracing to support the beams and the studs around the shed so it can be sturdy. So, could you show me what things that is going around? Okay. So, over here we're starting uh, by getting an angle for the cross brace. So we got it on a 15 degree angle and we've cut in both sides. What skills do you need for this project? So for this project, mostly you just need precision, confidence, that's really it. So once everything's cut, what do you do next? So once everything's cut, we take the crossing beams over here to the framing. And as you can see, they using a, a pneumatic nailer and they putting it in. If it doesn't fit, we just get a new one or we cut it to size. This year, we just started selling some of our in in class projects. So this is something new we never uh, did before. Man, these guys make a really comfortable Adirondack chair. I like that it's giving us more experience, giving us more like in depth on to what we could be doing and the straight and how can we really expand doing it. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, thank you. I finally got a chance to talk to Mr. Booz. So Mr. Booz, what's been going on today? Nothing much, a few projects going on. Well, everything today that you saw was the base foundation of the project. Uh, we haven't assembled it yet, but we just made all our cuts for that base. So uh, around here, we have to do everything in phases. Uh, today was just phase one. Along with the sheds that we're doing, we're still in phase one. Um, everything starts from the floor up, so and that's where we're at here. What are some of the skills that everybody's been picking up and learning? Cutting is one, measuring, precision cuts, I mean, to a point where they know whether it's gonna be a finished product or a rough product. And with that chicken coop, it's a green initiative project. So it came along with a grant. Just give them a whole research project on what going green is about. It's a, it's a team effort, you know? I like to get stuff that, uh, in here that they can actually, you know, envelope themselves in and go full steam ahead. That's great, thank you for having us. All right, awesome, man. Thank you for coming, I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right, cool. And that's how all our students are crushing the carpentry game. One final shout out to all the students who I got to talk to. I'm honored to be amongst your talent. This is the type of student achievement we are committed to bringing our viewers. It's real, so please make sure to watch additional episodes of CTE Explained on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This has been Mikey Joseph for the City Schools TV. See you at the next Pathway.